and welcome to this Halloween episode of the Elusive Panda. In this highly cursed episode, we're going to take a normal image and turn it into something extremely spooky. So follow along and you can make your own spooky images. First, we're going to need a base image to work with. We need something that has a lot of potential to be horrifying and disgusting. We need an image that immediately strikes you as extremely disturbing. Let's go to Google Images and start typing Donald Trump babies. Oh yes, these images are already terrifying. We have a lot of potential here. And so I've selected one of these images. Looking at this photo, I immediately think zombie cannibalism. Let's turn everyone in the image into some kind of zombie or ghoul and leave these healthy screaming babies trying to get away. First, we'll duplicate the original image. And on this new copy of the image, we will liquify. And with the liquify tool, we can start adjusting the faces. I think her smile is so nice that we could just emphasize it a little bit more. I think that's nice, she looks good. What else can we do here? Everybody's so happy now, I like that. Let's take a brush, we'll turn down our flow a little bit, and we'll just start painting. Very nice, very nice. And finally, he really needs some teeth. Oh yeah, that's a little bit disturbing. I think that's what we want. Let's take their skin and really tone it into an uncomfortable color. I'll create another layer, copy that layer, and then I like to use Camera Raw for the skin. So we're going to go to the HSL adjustments. We'll take the oranges, because oranges are usually the skin tones. And we're just going to bring the saturation of the oranges way down. There's a little bit of reds, we'll bring that down too. We'll take the hue of the oranges and turn that more to the yellow side, because that's very sickly. And then I'll also add a little bit of luminance just to brighten them back up. We don't want to affect the babies in this photo, so I'm going to add a layer mask. I'll hold down the Alt key as I do it. Fills the layer mask with black. Then we'll take a brush, and we'll set our brush to white, and that way we can selectively brush our sickly color onto the zombie participants in the image. We can make their intent clear with mm, a little bit of blood. If you go to Google Images and you just search for blood splatter, just find a nice PNG, a, a file with a transparent background. So I've taken a few of those and I already have them open in Photoshop. I like this one. This one looks like old splatters on clothing. So let's take this, take our blood splatter over here. And then we definitely need a little bit of blood around his mouth here because why else would the kids be so frightened? I have another splatter. This one's really nice. We'll take that. We'll paste that in. Oh, it looks like it's dripping from his nose. That's, that's horrendous. Okay, that's a good spot. We'll put a layer mask on this one too. We need to amp it up a little bit. Control Alt Shift E so we've cloned everything to a new flat layer. And to really amp up the creepiness and the grittiness and the ugliness of this scene, we're going to take this back into Camera Raw and make some really quick global adjustments. We're just gonna drag the saturation down some. We're gonna take the clarity and go crazy with the clarity. Too much clarity is really ugly. And that's exactly what we want. Maybe even some dehaze, which is gonna drop the shadows way down. Contrast, ooh. Yeah, yeah, ah, that's disturbing if I don't say so myself. I don't know if we really need the Secret Service and the thumbs up man over here. We'll just go ahead and take him out. We'll take out some extra shoulder on this side, but keep the leering goblin mom in. We'll just bring it up a little bit here. Yeah, there's before, there's after. Look at goblin mom over there, ha! Ah, I think we've done some good work, some work we can be proud of. And there you have it taking one already disturbing image and making it quite spooky, just for Halloween, of course. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you can try those techniques on your own photos, maybe your friends, maybe your Halloween party, maybe your boss. Good luck with your own highly cursed images and happy Halloween from the Elusive Panda. See you next time.